okay this is an AC 800 M controller with the PM864 CPU and just for representation we are having a mod bus card which is CI853 we are going to uh, connect this AC 800 m controller to its programming software which is called the uh, control builder so uh, let's start with it okay so we have got uh, four ports here underneath the PM864 now we have got CN1 we have got CN2 and we have got COM3 and then we have got COM4 COM4 is usually used when the uh, AC ATRM controller is unboxed for the first time and we have to communicate with the AC ATRM controller using the COM4 which is also called the tool port uh, so we are going to use an RJ45 connector at one end and this will go to the other end on the uh, PC uh, having a DB9 male connector okay before uh, going to the software section make sure that you have installed the end terminators this is the TB850 and also on the other end we have got another end terminator so make sure that you install all these terminators also we have got another RCU link uh, terminator which is also required if we are not using a redundant AC Ethernet controller okay so let's go on with the software section on how to configure uh, its IP using the tool port We are going to discuss the programming software that is used for the AC 800 m controller. The programming software is the Control Builder M Professional. We are going to use the version 4.1.0. Double click on the Control Builder M Professional software and wait for its graphical user interface. Okay, once the graphical user interface appears, uh, go to File, go to New and Project to produce a new project okay so under the new project we have got different uh, templates that can be used to produce a new project we have got the AC 800 m project uh, template we have got the AC 800 m high integrity template uh, which is used for uh, the applications that are using high integrity uh, uh, applications for higher SIL levels we have got the soft controllers uh, to simulate our program without having a real-time hardware uh, controller we have got a soft controller for the high integrity control system so we are going to use an AC Ethernet template write the name of the project is my underscore new underscore project one two and click on OK just wait a while to initialize its uh, libraries just going to take 20 to 30 seconds okay so basically there are three different sections of the software the first is the libraries the second is the applications and the third is the controllers libraries normally contain some predefined data types and uh, some predefined function blocks that can be used uh, in our program uh, the second is the applications under the applications we write our application program that we are going to use uh, in our project uh, the application section consists of the libraries some predefined libraries is uh, discussed earlier that there are some predefined function blocks some predefined data types already being built by ABB to use in our project so we are going to write the program 
under the program section in either program 1, program 2 or program 3. There are three modes of uh, programs, fast, normal or slow. So we can use any of them uh, to produce our project. Uh, we define our variables uh, under the program 1 uh, application. So we are going to define our variables here and we can use the function blocks in the function block area we are going to define the function blocks and then finally we are going to write our code in this section so we'll discuss this later on okay the third section is the controller section the controller section is the place where we normally define our hardware that we are going to use for the application and the hardware that we are going to use in our project is uh, a PM864 controller so in the zeroth slot we normally define the processor of the controller by default it is PM860 so just right click and go to replace with PM864 that we have already uh, with the TP830 as the base plate do you want to continue click yes it will load the hardware under the PM864 controller okay after selecting the PM864 controller we can see that you know there are four uh, uh, ports on the PM864 controller the first is the CF reader if you want to install uh, an external uh, flash to increase the internal memory of the uh, programming flash we have got two Ethernet ports that will be used to communicate with the PC later on after configuring its IP uh, we have got uh, a co uh, two COM ports for the serial communication but first we are going to use the COM4 or the tool port to communicate with the AC800M controller uh, when it is first unboxed so that we can uh, give an IP address on uh, CN1 and CN2 Ethernet ports so let's start with uh, uh, going online with the controller using the tool port that is uh, uh, COM4 of the controller to uh, assign an IP address on uh, CN1 and CN2 go to start go to programs go to ABB industrial IT go to engineering go to utilities and go to IP config uh, program or utility uh, so this is the IP config uh, interface where we are going to introduce an IP address to the AC ATM controller CN1 and CN2 uh, make sure that we have got the COM ports COM1 selected uh, as we have used the TK212 cable on COM1 so select as COM1 if we have got multiple of the COM ports click on connect and here we have got a message connecting to the uh, connecting make a controller system reset system reset is basically the INIT button on the AC ADM controller just briefly press it until the run LED blinks okay so it blinks and it will give us the message that system reset detected waiting on controller startup so it will just wait okay so once the controller is connected to the PC we can see that uh, there is a message that connected modify IP address and pe press set IP or restore factory default so this is the predefined IP address that is uh, on the CN1 and CN2 so we can uh, go to setting go to advanced and then write the desired IP address let's say I'm going to use 172.16.8.55 uh, uh, let the subnet mask to be 255.255.255.2.0.252.0 and the tool port interface IP address to be uh, as it is click on set IP 
a new IP address configuration will be stored in the controller continue okay so it's uh, controller IP configuration updated so we have successfully updated the uh, controller IP address now we can exit the uh, utility okay now go to the control builder and professional CN1 and CN2 which are the two ports on the AC 800 MPM 864 controller so we are going to use the CN1 right click on the Ethernet 1 and go to editor introduce the IP address as we have given already as 172.16.8.55 and subnet mask to be 255.255.252 click on save click on save and exit similarly go to the controller right click and click on system identity click on 172.16.8.55 okay so so our controller is 172.16.8.55 uh, and this IP is being assigned to CN1 so now we are ready to uh, communicate with the AC Ethernet controller over the Ethernet using the CN1 to make sure that we have got a successful communication uh, connect the Ethernet port to connect the Ethernet port to CN1 and we can see that uh, the connection has been established so go to the start go to run and write PING 172.16.8.55 that is the address of our controller dash T click on OK so we have got successful replies from the controller uh, our ping command is connecting our PC successfully to the controller so we are now ready to uh, download our first project to AC 800M controller although we have got no program or written uh, so we can just download an empty program to the controller to do so just right click on the controller and click on download and online mode it will ask project no version mismatch found in the project since the controller is uh, being downloaded for the first time just click and click on continue okay so it will give you a difference report difference report is the report which tells us uh, what uh, version of uh, software is already in the controller and what we are going to download uh, from the software so it will compare both the programs the one which we are uh, downloading right now using the software and the one which is already inside the controller since there is uh, nothing on the controller as it is unboxed so just click on uh, the tick or accept uh, if we want to weave the differences we can always go to differences and see the applications to see the difference in the controller uh, in the version in the controller and version in the control builder software so just accept it and wait for the uh, controller to download so we are now online with the AC Ethernet controller for the first time so that's it from uh, today's tutorial see you in the training in the upcoming sessions bye bye offline In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the OPC server for AC 800M 4.1.0. So, double click on the OPC uh, software or the server configuration. Uh, you can see that there are some controllers showing the red crosses. Uh, basically, the OPC server configuration is the utility which tells us the healthy communication of the AC 800M controller to the engineering workstation or or a station where the control builder and professional is installed uh, the OPC server configuration has got uh, two sections one is the data access and the others and the other is the alarms and the event so 
let's introduce our controller that is 172.16.8.55 since it is already connected to the PC and the program has been downloaded and it's online so let's see if it can connect to the OPC server configuration click on connect so we can see that our communication with the controller healthy with a smiling face uh, to the OPC server configuration uh, so our data is ac access is ok with the controller similarly we can go to the alarm and events and write the IP address and click on connect which is also successful so our OPC server configuration or the OPC connection with the AC ATM controller is ok so that's it for the OPC server configuration